ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody has had a super duper wonderful Mother's Day. And I, as your planetary defense commander, depend upon your contributions and donations to survive and thrive. And I am supposed to attend my mom's wedding in three and a half weeks. And so any donations to help me hit my May fundraiser, which I have $1,073 left to raise, would be super duper absolutely greatly appreciated especially after the last two and a half years through the pandemic that i've given you guys my all but thank you to mary john tyler and everybody in Astro fight club i love you guys all right let me get to this stuff this is just a heads up from me to you that it is going to be one of the bigger energetic shift weeks that we have seen all year that's right um on 10th well let's start out tomorrow you get russia's um victory day which some people are saying that tomorrow putin may declare war on ukraine which just seems weird shot and fruity to me and once again shout out to astro fight club and all the help you've given us prevent world war three since 2014 2015 and every day is a challenge i mean world war three ain't gonna prevent itself yeah, I don't know, man. These are crazy days indeed. And there were rumors that Putin was having cancer surgery. Don't know if those are true. Anyway, back to the planetary stuff. So on the 10th, the first half of the day, Mercury, the speedy little planet Mercury, you know, the super badass that lives right next to the sun and somehow still survives, it's going retrograde. And so even the basic of the normie norms have heard about Mercury retrograde and and has a reputation for things getting super wonky, you know. And so on the 10th, you know, Mercury will be retrograde. And then later that day, Jupiter will be leaving Pisces, a water sign, and going into Aries, a fire sign. And some people say Aries is kind of like war. And so at some point in May, you will have Jupiter, Venus, and then Mars are on the 25th, 26th, 27th in Aries. But Jupiter will be jumping in there on the 10th. So, I mean, I, I can tell you as a Sagittarius, I am super, super looking forward to this, um, Jupiter and Aries. But it's going to just represent a big radical shift, and we will be on our toes for the next month definitely doing what we can um to prevent world war three and just everything flying off the hinges and then oh also you know with jupiter in aries we'll be looking for major heat waves over the next year we'll be looking for possible volcano eruptions major ones um Remember, the Jupiter in Aries lasts about a year. It'll it'll stay there till October, and then it'll retrograde back until the like second half of 2023. Um, well, I mean, it'll retrograde for a couple months, and then it'll go back into Aries for the second half of 2023. But, you know, expect heat and people fighting and um, volcanoes. But where war can be avoided you'll have great chance of peace and fun i know it's hard to wrap your head around that but it's true quite the dust-up storm in tonopa and then you have on the 15th at night and 16th ish you have a total blood moon lunar eclipse happening in scorpio remember scorpio is the thing stuck in the south node of the moon um in old legends there was a moon dragon the moon dragon got cut in half the head of the dragon is the top node of where the moon goes and it's when it rotates around the earth and the bottom half is like the tail of the dragon technically the ass of the dragon where the moon goes to the south when it orbits the southest part of the moon's orbit and so whatever gets stuck in the south node usually doesn't have the best of time that's why it's interesting to watch that, like, uh, um, Biden is a Scorpio. He may be having a rough time during this year and a half transit. Uh, Texas Governor Abbott is a Scorpio. Putin is a Scorpio rising. And then Taylor Swift is a Scorpio stellium. So be sure and watch them just for examples 
of what they may be going through over the next year and a half ish but yeah so these are crazy times and so we are watching stock markets crash before this you know we've seen a lot of signs leading up to all the things he, that would be happening and so you know we're still looking i definitely think it's going to be a super duper crazy with markets and the bitcoins and the dog coins and the cryptocurrencies and just all the things man look for it to be a super duper absolutely wild wild energetic shift week like i said you got mercury retrograde on the 10th and then jupiter going into aries and then um the blood moon eclipse and so i i've been saying watch for a lead up of craziness up to here and definitely in the last week we you know the entire mode of things in the united states shifted the narrative shifted the attention shifted you know i mean just think about how much the vibe of things has shifted since april 30th when the solar eclipse happened and so we eclipse seasons are always freaking weird and strange and this eclipse you know pretty much everybody in north america and south america will be able to see the eclipse if you want to look at it there are people out there who are like yo dude looking at eclipses is bad luck so you figure out your own shiz it is safe to look at a lunar eclipse you're not going to melt your eyeballs looking at it but you know you just decide on your own however you want to um but yeah so this is just my letting you know that it's going to be a wild week and then it usually takes a while for the eclipse energy to filter out so i'm just saying be prepared for the next three weeks to be pretty crazy and pretty wild and so you know watch the energy shift the narrative shift it's not all bad like i said i'm so excited about jupiter in aries so all right this is just me giving you guys a heads up you know right before the big week and so we can meet again next week to discuss what did or didn't change what shifts happened what hit shifts happened or or things that you know but making any sense okay fantastic all right so everybody be cool stay cool and we'll get through this together i hope and yeah if you would like to contribute to thor news to help me keep doing what i do and somehow get home to you know enjoy all the family things it'll be happening in three and a half weeks i was super duper absolutely appreciated i have given you guys my all and all my years at Thor News, and especially as your planetary defense commander. Um, but you can make a contribution through the mailboxes and the PayPal and the Venmo, the Cash App, the Patron. Got one thousand seventy-three dollars left to raise for May fundraiser. Super duper thank y'all to Asteroid Fight Club. Thank you, Mary, John, Tyler, the Texas Angel, Patricia, Alexis, Lauren, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, and Max, Teresa, Ricks, nineteen eighty-eight. God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, Astro Fight Club, and everybody on Earth who is awesome. Okay? Stay cool. Have a great night. Talk to y'all soon. Peace out. Peace in. Peace everywhere. Pretty please. And yes, pretty please. Pay for peace. Play. Wait. Pray for peace. There you go. I got it.